What's going on guys? Ev here from BTR and I just threw up a new blog on BTR. Make sure to put that link in the description. It's uh, I believe called the three sleepers in this upcoming NBA draft and I'm just going to sum them up real quick. I put them in three tiers. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. Wow, that was a little tough for me to think of. But uh, so Tier 1 is obviously the, the best guy most likely to succeed as the highest draft stock right now. And then Tier 3 was the least likely to succeed. Kind of my shot in the dark. But uh, let me just go over them. So my Tier 1 guy was Jamal Murray. Kentucky is obviously a household name. He's projected around 8 to 10 right now in the NBA draft. And I'm thinking he should be a top 5 pick just the way he plays, how smooth he is. He's got a great basketball IQ. He's he's not too fast, but he can definitely change his speed to kind of uh, compensate for that, both offensively and defensively. But um, yeah, he's definitely, if you want to read more up on that, make sure to just click the link in the description. I'll probably put it somewhere on the screen as well. But my Tier 2 guy was a senior right now on Michigan State, Denzel Valentine. Denzel Valentine is a versatile player, and I make sure that I emphasize that within the blog post because he is just, he's big, he's long, he can pass, he can shoot, he can dribble. There's not many guys that can do all of that at such a good level. And, um, you know, he's really, I mean, right now he's projected around 20 to 25, something like that, and I just... I just can't see him going that high in the or late in the draft, I should say. He definitely, definitely should be up there. Let's move on to that tier three guy, the shot in the dark. You might not this might be the first time you've ever heard this name. You might not even have heard it before. His name is Juan Hernan Gomez. Hernan Gomez is one name. I don't know how to if I'm it's Hernan Gomez or Hernan Gomez. <laughs> Probably the same thing, but uh Yeah, he's a he's a guy that I like to think of and compare to Christoph Sporzingis. At this time last year, Kristaps was definitely overlooked, and I mean, obviously he's proving those haters wrong. He, uh, he ended up getting drafted fourth overall, so obviously he made his uh, draft stock a lot more promising, getting closer to the draft, but I don't know if one, I like to call him J.H., I don't know if J.H. is going to be able to do that, but he definitely plays a lot like him. He's a great shooter. He plays uh, in the EBA in Spain right now, and he had, he's averaging very similar stats to... Uh, Kristaps, and they're, they're similar sizes. Kristaps a few inches taller, uh, same weight. They play very similar, but uh, I definitely think that JH has some more guard abilities. So uh, make sure you go check that out. Make sure to uh, reblog it, vote it up, whatever you want to do. Uh, share it around, and stay, f stay tuned for more to come. Thank you, guys.